players out, I've got to be honest with you, and particularly in the backs. But Marty Gurr and Ken Wright come back into the top side. And in the forward lineup, Gary Warnicky, Ian Barkley, Bruce Foy, and David Brown uh, appear in the lineup. So it's quite a strong Eastern Suburb side coached by Bob Fulton. Canterbury Bankstown, uh, similarly, have also been knocked about by injuries, but they're three quarters uh, from Greg Brentnell right down through to the halfback. Uh, a very strong, but Steve Mortimer is out and he's replaced by a very small halfback, Tony Davies, who I'm told is very good. The forwards also have got some players missing, but Greg Cook and Peter Smith are back for tonight's match under the coaching of Ted Glosser. It's your... And it's an east ball. Right. Folks, getting through some defence in the early part. This is uh, Warnicky. Looks, looks a little bit like Ken Wright in... Uh, some of his actions and uh, style. This is Dave Brown, and he, he knows he's been hit too. Greg Cook went in with a swinging arm there. Danzy saw it, though. I'm fairly positive it was quite legitimate. Here's a good piece of work by Hastings away to Murphy, the centre. He's going down the left flank. Brentnell to beat. They're keeping him in the... Oh, Brentnell's got trouble now. Oh, yes, sir. That was an awful mistake by Canterbury. The left, Greg Brentnell, not with one, but with three. Oh, they all stood off. They said, well, we're doing a good job for you, Greg. We're hunting him into the sideline. But then all of a sudden, two overlaps have shown up for Easton. Moffat. Up he goes. Met by a former Queenslander, Dave Brown. Cook. He's inside the 22, but now he's got the pass away. And that was Gearin injecting himself into the play. English as dummy half. That man is Geelan, a good break by the Canterbury Bulldogs, and here they are, starting to throw it about. Peter Mortimer, still going. Chris Anderson, he's off for the corner. McFarlane in pursuit, but Anderson, I think, will make it. Yes, he's coming right around. Yes, a super try by Canterbury. The entertainers are back. Beautiful piece of football. The captain for tonight, Chris Anderson. Looked at Ailiff, but Ailiff was in front of him. Hastings, right. Hoban held by Geelan. They're on the 22 line there now. Gurr, watch this grub kick. It's normally perfect. And oh, Greg Brentnell's taken the odds to it and just reefed at it with the boot. And so it's East with Bruce Foy back to Brown now. He's back on the 22, but Brentnell took uh, a super gamble there. This man is uh, Warnicky. Three all, we're right in front of the uprights and 18 metres out from the line. Right, Tobin on the inside. That's uh, the third time that Ken Wright has served it back inside to the galloping John Tobin. Right again, there he is turning it on the inside again and this time it's played off, Murphy's heading for the line and Brentnell had to take him high, ball and all and take, takes the ball off him. It's a penalty to East, it's a certain two points just a bruising so there's no deep worry with him you must have been a little bit worried at some of the inroads east were making into your defense down the middle of the rucks towards the closing stages of that first quarter yes yeah, so east, east game is turn that ball inside and uh, you're right towards the last five minutes of that quarter they uh, royce ale if there is a master at it he runs wide turns it back in and we were just a little bit tardy getting into the middle of the ruck but what I said to them at that quarter time there, they know what they have to do to contain these East forwards, and I'll see if they can uh, just do their job in this next 20 minutes, because this is the vital 20 minutes for me. And Greg Brentnell is going to play a pretty important part in your tactics, obviously. Yes, well, I think most people know that in this 20-minute football, you've got no, no time to spend up in your own 25, so Greg is there for the big kick, and I know Marty Gurr is going to be doing the same. And what did you tell the boys in that uh, quarter time break? Well, I told them that we've got to look as though we want to win this game more than East. And it, this, to me, this 20 minutes is going to show that way. And uh, I just told them to hold the middle of the ruck, keep their eye on that turned inside ball and play it down the other end. Thanks very much for your time, Ted. Please, okay. Well, in the opening few minutes of this second quarter, uh, Canterbury are carrying out uh, the instructions of their coach to the letter. A little chip by Brentnell. Flying very high, Peter Mortimer by G. That was a good piece of football. Pat English has dived and I think he scored what could be a golden try. I said that last year and uh, my goodness, I don't hesitate to say it this year. What a great piece of football. Brentnell, he came here, you'll recall we first... He wants it again. Our big, uh, our big game on Channel 10 next Saturday. 
will be Western Suburbs and Newtown from Henson Park. An hour and a half of rugby league. Davies across the paddock, looks on the... Oh, he's picked up by Baker, who's picked up Anderson, who's buffed it. Oh, he's made a complete meal of it with the line open. And all six have been won by Canterbury. 10-4, the scrum count to Canterbury. Well, with Gearin's kicking off line, Anderson making a complete mess of that. Um, Canterbury probably... Here's Barkley doing some good work. Through Marty Gurr, it's with uh, Murphy onto McFarlane. McFarlane up on the wing. Oh, he's gone inside. Brentnell coming from behind. Anderson pulls him down on the Canterbury 22. From one end of the field to the other. Flying onto it is Warnicky. And Warnicky's taken without the ball. And a penalty. Two Easts. And Steve Folks is being called out for a caution. Especially for people using penalties as a breaking system, a tie-breaking system. That kick, I tell you what, David Michael's on the field for East now. He's on in 16. This is him chasing Anderson now. He came through very fast after that kick. And uh, they, they didn't have much time up their sleeves, the Bulldogs. This is Baker. 9-8, only a point the difference. Canterbury has scored two tries to East 1. One try, to say the least, controversial. But then they bombed another one, Canterbury, didn't they? Here's Brentnell now, looking on the inside. Picks up a little halfback, Davies. Davies runs wide towards the left flank. Picks up a runner. He's picked up Gearin, who kicks downfield. Chasing now is Mortimer, in company with Michael and Gurr. The East players well in front of the uh, Canterbury defenders, but they've uh, certainly gained plenty of ground, Canterbury. They opened the Eastern Suburbs up there. Terry Fay now. Who tonight, uh, one could be forgiven for thinking, was playing the part of an extra forward. This man is Arthur Katinas, so obviously Bobby Fulton um, concerned about his scrums has sent Katinas on to see if he can get some ball for them. Good run by Tobin. Hastings links up. Trouble here for Canterbury. The bounce of the ball picked up by Barkley. He's away from folks. He's gone into Canterbury territory down to the 22. He picks up this man, which is Fisher. And Fisher streaming away for an East try. The Roosters, a three-pointer, their second of the night. And the scoreline goes to 12 points to 8 in favour of the Roosters. Jeff Fisher. Keith Barnes again talking at three-quarter time with a man involved or sitting watching on the sidelines this match tonight, Gary Hughes. We're up near the Canterbury 22. Right, Hastings, Hastings. Here's Ayla on the inside, Katinas. Now Marty Gurr, now John Tobin, and that was tremendous football from both sides. He's on the attack. Warnocky, Warnocky, he's over. Can he get it down? No, he can't. Held up in goal. Oh, sparkling football. Put in it. Incorrect feed now against uh, the Canterbury half. This is the differential penalty. Warnicky tackled by Clay. Hastings, Aliff. Here's East's opportunity to hammer home this uh, four-point advantage. Hastings. Tobin as they switch the point of the attack. That man is Cook. Making the tackle for a front rower, he covers a lot of ground. Here's a chance for David Michael. He's going towards the corner, put into touch by the halfback. Davies save what would have been a... Probably no better exponent in the game today than um, Marty Gurr. And Katinas continues to get a good possession, a good amount of possession for his side. Hastings. Warnocky, they're inside the 22, 16 was one tackler, Clay, the other was Folks, Hastings, around the corner, and Barkley has it for East, and put down by Anderson. Starting to look like Canterbury's cup record is not going to improve in 1981. They haven't had much success at all in cup football. Here's Terry Fay now. Steve Folks with a Beautiful tackle around the bootlaces. There's Ken Wright popping it away to Ayliff, and he's given the pass out for Barkley. Barkley's got the pass on the inside to David Michael, but referee Danzi ruled that it went forward. 
players in this wonderful world of league. Two balls on the field now. And coming very close to the ruck area. Canterbury, 10 metres out. McCartney, and he's uh, 7 metres out. A fresh player on there. They're using him as a battering ram at the moment. A long ball, volleyed to Baker. Picked up by Peter Mortimer, who takes them on. 12 metres from the east line. A cup tie match with a heap of excitement. It's Davies. Now it's with the folks, number six for Canterbury. Defending 1980 Premiers trying to crack it against the nighttime champions. Davies and the pass back for Peter Mortimer. Stepping, stepping in, two metres short. Tackle number five. Played back to his captain. Away to Baker, who throws a giant dummy and he scores! Under the uprights, the Bulldogs have come back and Gearan must certainly convert. 15 points to 14. We've got a great final six minutes now with Eastern Suburb certain to throw everything into it. Ian Barkley, who's done plenty of good things, a couple of little mistakes. Folks now comes away for Canterbury. Tackle by Lane. Oh, this has been, uh, well, obviously a match with plenty of players out. But uh, to my way of thinking, it's been a superbly exciting game of rugby league. And Anderson, Anderson's away, Gearan's in support, Gearan's going for the line, Michaels is flying, too late, Gearan has scored for Canterbury. Oh, what a superb piece of uh, rugby league action, with a star winger linking up with an Australian rep, and then being chased by... Um, 20 points to 14, and that is the ball game. Gearan has kicked four out of six.